my name is Karen Garrett and I'm going to be teaching you how to color fashion illustrations, fashion sketches, and flaps using marker, watercolor, acrylic, and marker, watercolor, acrylic, and color pencil. That's it. Okay, four things. So what you need to do is get go to your friend's house who have kids. happy 
right now. I feel like the world is such a beautiful place and
the High Line and the peak and just go through the shed. See how pretty that is? Okay, let's go the very darkest one. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, so there you go. And that's how you do marker. And you can play with this and time will just go by and you won't even know how much time it start with our lightest color. One second, my technician turned off my fan and I will be right back. Okay, my, techni my technician is helping me. All right, so we're going to take our light color. We're only going to do it in certain places. Uh, see, I need a little wind here. was in the, in the nice office with beautiful air conditioning. Okay, so there we go, some light right along the top there. I'm going to be a little more painterly because this is paint. Paint is for fun. It is painterly. There we go. This is my sketch. Okay, so that point. I'm loving it. And now I'm going to clean it up. Get a little bit of a darker, darker shade. Ooh, that was too 
dark. So I'm going to water it down. Again, this tilts too much. You can always use your tester sheet. Oh, the, ooh, I love that. Okay. I have a little shadow on my board here from my assistant. Okay, so I'm going to do this on the medium side. And lastly, clean it up, and I'm going to do the dark purple. And more water. Try and be free. This is your free sketch. When you get to have the freedom, you might as well go for it. It's really fun. Watching people paint is fun, so if you go to the swimming pool or outside the park or something, take your bag. Like I keep telling you, people love watching people uh, be artistic. They always wish that they were artistic, so you don't have to be a hermit and sit at home in your house. So, I do it all the time. I go outside all the time, and the reason I'm doing it inside the studio is because I have to control the sound. That's really pretty. Now, you want to paint on paint. You can always come back with white paint. So, let's see if we can get some of this white paint. You can always come back with white. Some white in my book here. Okay, so with the white, I can always come back on a painted. This, it has lumps in it. I'm sorry. It did just sit there. You can always come back in with white if it's going to be a shiny satin or something like that. You can come in with that. On our blue shirt, you know, we can always lighten it up if we wanted to in places. You could use a white uh, watercolor paint. See what I mean? You can always play with the sun. All right, and then on your pencils, you can always come back in with a white uh, prism color pencil to get some highlights too. All right, so once that's all dry, you can always go back and use a black pen to make it super clean. But that is just the beginning of your life as a color painting, coloring, drawing illustrator. This is just a blast. I hope you loved it like me.